Sewing sleeves. Now, sometimes it can be quite a dreaded subject. However, when we talk about sewing sleeves and knit garments, there are two very simple ways how to do it. And now today, you will get the choice between one or the other and see which one works for you best. So let's get started. So today, we're going to be sewing sleeves for this dress that you see on your screens right now. All right, so we will start by cutting our sleeves and making all of the notches that your pattern calls for. I am making my notches at the center of the sleeve. Then, for either of the sleeve sewing techniques, you will need to sew the shoulder seams of your main pattern body. Now, if you don't press your seams as you sew, I would highly suggest that you do. It makes for a more polished garment. Now that that is done, let's take a look at the first option of inserting knit sleeves, and that is the flat method. First, you will lay the body of your garment and the sleeve right sides facing the table. Then, align the center notch of the sleeve with shoulder seam of the bodice. After that, align the bottom of the armhole with one end of the sleeve and then with the other. Once everything is pinned in place, you will sew it together. Now I really love this method and it's great because it allows you to press the seams easily, which you would do after sewing in the sleeve. Now once the sleeve is attached, place your garment right sides together, matching the hem of the bodice, the underarm seams, and the hem of the sleeve. And then you will sew it all in one go. And this is what you will get when it's all done. Next is in the round method. For this one, you will start by sewing the shoulder seam and the side seam of the bodice of the pattern. Once done, take the sleeve, place it right sides together, and sew the side seam of the sleeve. Then, turn the sleeve and insert it inside the bodice like so, also aligning all of the notches that you have as well as the underarm seam and the shoulder seam with the center of the sleeve. Pin in place, and if pinning this part is a little bit challenging, you can also try by basting it by hand. It helps to keep it all in one place. Now, sew it all together in the round. Once done, it is a little bit harder to give it a good press if you don't have a tailor's ham, which I don't. Then, sometimes you can place a towel inside your garment to help you press it. Now remember, in sewing there are more than one way how to do this or that, so definitely find what works for you. And this is how it looks. One sleeve was done with the flat method and the other one was done in the round. Now, if you want more sewing how-tos, then definitely check out this video right over here. We will talk about how to insert side seam pockets so that way they definitely turn out every single time you want to sew them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in that video over there. Bye.